Happy New Year, everyone. I hope that you have all had a wonderful holiday season with your friends and family. I am excited to be back in Goodwill and going thrifting today. I have not been in a thrift store in quite a while. I've enjoyed my little break, but I'm excited to be back today. Like I said, we are thrifting in Goodwill. I am with some of my family today. I'll give you a few shots of them here in just a little bit, but let's get in here and see what all they have to offer on the shelf. I did pick up several items today. Actually, we overflowed our cart today, or our buggy as I like to call it. When I'm thrifting with my family, for some reason, we just always have the best time and end up with a full cart. So I'm excited to kind of share that with y'all. So let's get busy seeing what they have on the shelves. And then I'll share with y'all here in just a little bit what all I picked up. So something I am looking for right now is risers and like wooden boxes, things like that, just to kind of give some height to different areas. Now I almost brought this one home, but I decided to leave it. And I just wanted to ask, what are y'all looking for in 2024? What is some things that you're looking for in your home decor or even things that you're needing for your kitchen or just for your house in general? I mean, I really love this faux food here. I think that this would look so cute on a little cake plate just to kind of fill in a spot, especially for Valentine's Day or something. So listen, even at the thrift store, you can find so many things because look at this faux food here. I thought that this tray was a really nice piece and something like this would work really well for me because we do a lot of cooking and grilling and entertaining out on our patio during the warmer months. So something like that would be fun to just put different items on and carry in and out of the house. And then I spotted this beautiful cloche and this little wooden riser stand. And I thought, well, let me put these two together because they look beautiful together and see what that would look like. So I wanted to give you that idea. Now I didn't purchase this separate because this cloche went with this little piece here and it was $10 29 cents and then you would have had to buy the stand separate and i feel like you could almost buy something in retail cheaper than that but if you find a cloche just off by itself don't think oh well there's a cloche and there's nothing i can put with it go over to the dishes or look around and that cloche might actually fit on something and end up looking beautiful for your home decor Again, when you are out thrifting, do not forget about those end caps. I always have to remind myself, don't forget to look at the end caps because they are putting so many things in little bags on the end caps. So I just wanted to put that little reminder out there. Don't forget to look there because you might find some beautiful treasures.
I found several hearth and hand pieces here in this Goodwill and they were priced pretty well. This one did not have a price, but the other one was priced at I think $2.29. So I'm pretty sure that this one was either priced around the same or not much more. I don't know how this works. Do you put this salt on top of the pepper and that becomes the pepper's lid or was the pepper actually missing its top? And then I find a whole sugar dish here in just a little while that's from hearth and hand and it's priced really well too. And I do know that these are still sold in Target because I just saw them not too long ago in my local Target. Yes, here's that sugar. I said dish. It's a canister, actually. And the only thing about this is, yes, it's priced well, but it is missing its lid. So other than maybe turning it around where you can't see the sugar and using it to put a plant in or to put some, you know, wooden spoons or something like that, I don't know that you would be able to really use it for anything else. And then this set of dishes here, y'all, I have several small pieces like this that I pull out during fall and put in my fall decor. So it was really fun to see a whole set here. I did not purchase any of these pieces because I find that I really don't enjoy decorating with this set very much during the fall. I just pull it out because I have it. So I'm trying really hard not to bring pieces home, you know, for any other reason other than because I absolutely love them. So I did leave this behind, even though I do have several pieces to go with it. There are so many fun little shelf sitters here today. I did want to mention to y'all, even though some of these shelves here don't look really full, January really is the time to go thrifting. So many people are cleaning out, decluttering, getting rid of stuff. They got all that new stuff for Christmas. So they're getting rid of some of their old stuff. They're cleaning out before school start back up, before people have to go back to work and all that good jazz. So anyway, check your thrift stores in January because sometimes I find that that is when they have some of the best stuff. Okay, so I'm looking at these little placemats here because I thrifted a tablecloth that I turned into a shower curtain and these matched that. So I was looking at those to see if maybe I could turn them into some pillows, but I didn't really like the price on those. I know that is a lot cheaper than buying pillows, but I find that sometimes if I just hold out, I will find things that I really like a lot cheaper at either a different thrift store or at a garage sale. If it's not something that I just have to have or really love, I'm trying to leave it behind like I said. So the rest of my family is scattered throughout the store, but Riot was brought over to me to show me he picked up this little truck that he really wanted. He wanted to show me how it worked. So he's gonna give y'all a little demonstration on this truck that he found over in the toy section real quick. And I will meet up with the rest of my family here in just a minute. They just mostly go thrifting for the clothes and stuff.
And here's Kelsey. She has found me. She's went over and found her a ton of clothes. She has lost a lot of weight since having the baby. So she is trying to get her a new wardrobe built up because she has lost so much weight. Riot is so funny. I had put this little tricycle in my buggy earlier to show Kelsey because I thought it was so cute. Well, he pulled it out thinking it was one that you can ride. <laughs> I had to let him know real quick that I think that was made for a baby doll, not for a big boy like you to ride. Ben's found that? Are you like the clothes boy? Here, let me help you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This blanket here, Kelsey will show you in a minute that this is actually a threshold blanket. I kind of was looking at it myself, but I don't really like this color. I don't do colors like this in my house. I am loving some blues, but not that color of blue. Yeah, here it is right here. She was showing me that she has several blankets like this, just in different colors. And I was like, well, that's a good quality blanket, but I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. What are these? Alan and Roth. Yeah, it is. I think it's just one panel, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one panel. I've been noticing they've been putting some of that stuff back here. Okay, and this is where I guess you do what you got to do at the thrift store to try to get something that you want to look at. <laughs> Put it down, let us see. On my look. I see. <laughs> In your chair. Jamie, what are you doing, sweet boy? <laughs> and this is why I say check the end caps because I found this beautiful salt and pepper shaker set for $3.29, y'all. And the reason I got it is because, for one, look how unique it is. It has this beautiful, let me get it to focus here, this beautiful blue color on it. And I am trying to bring in blues for like my winter decor and my spring and summer decor. So this will be perfect. I'm gonna pull it out of the bag to show y'all. Okay, y'all, and I didn't even notice this, but on the bottom, if you can see right there, it is marked Japan. They both have their little stoppers which is always a plus if you can find your salt and pepper shakers with their stoppers. Um, just normally they don't have them, but here's the little, what it looks like on the top. So yay, I'm excited to get these cleaned up. Let me get a little bit closer where y'all can see. I love all the little detail on it and they're just so different. I, I just love salt and pepper shakers. I have this thing for them. So I'm excited to get these cleaned up and I don't know, I might put them here on my table. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put them. So stay tuned for that. I am still trying to clean my house, get my Christmas decor up. So styling things in this video is probably not going to happen, but maybe next week I'll have these in place and I can definitely show you where I put them. But yeah, I'm super, super excited about these. I'm going to get these cleaned up and washed and disinfected and put me some salt and pepper in them. I picked this thing up and put it back down so many times because of the price. So it was... Of course, it's always upside down when I'm filming. $6.29. Come on, camera, let's focus. And I just love the color of this wood. This is nothing old or vintage, as you can tell by it having this right here. What does it say? Gripper wood is what that says. And then here's what the front looks like. So I picked this up because I love to decorate, make vignettes, 
and just have my house looking old, rustic, and country, kind of primitive. So I grabbed this just because of how old it looked. I will probably not be cutting up any food or vegetables on this just because it is wood and I don't know what somebody's been cutting up on here. But I'll probably use this, like I said, either as a vignette, like put some things on it. I mean, let's look here. Let's take this little salt and pepper shaker right here. You could put that, you know, a little plant. I don't know, you could definitely make a beautiful vignette of some sort with this. So I did grab this for $6.29 just because I love how old and rustic it looks. And again, I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show y'all next week where I decided to put this and how I styled some things on it. And then we did spend some time over in the clothes section and that is where Kelsey got most of her items from was the clothes. So I picked me up this dress here. I thought that it was a very beautiful. I just love neutral nude colors like this. It fits me so well. I'm pretty short. So dresses like this, sometimes I have a hard time because they're usually too long, but I really, really like this one. Let me show y'all the brand. It is this Zessica. Again, I don't know nothing about it, but I just love how this all looks. I think it's gonna look very pretty to wear to church with some little black pumps or shoes, you know, of some kind. And the dresses were $6.29. So that's how much I paid for this. And then I grabbed this little, I don't know, in my opinion, like a little, it's a little dressier crossbody purse, just because we have a wedding to go to this weekend. And sometimes you just want like a little, you know, smaller, classier looking purse where you can just, you know, put your phone in there, some lipstick, even at church and different events like that. And Elizabeth does graduate this year. So she has quite a few little things coming up that, you know, I want to kind of dress up for. It has a little pocket here on the back. Let me show y'all what this looks like with the dress that I got because I think it would look perfect. So here it is kind of paired with this dress. And I think it's going to look so good. I just love like solid colored print things. So this is right up my alley. And again, with some little black pumps or some little black shoes, you know, I think it'll look very, very sweet. Again, I think it's going to look, you know, pretty well together because the dress is kind of casual, but the purse kind of dresses it up. I'm not wearing this dress to the wedding, by the way. I am wearing something different, but this would be perfect, you know, for like a church outfit as well. And then Elizabeth bought three shirts on this thrifting trip and Kelsey bought a ton of clothes. She bought so many clothes. Um, I did not film that because there was just so many and she did buy like a little sifter for her kitchen decor. And then she bought Riot, as you can see in the thumbnail picture on top of the buggy is this huge like little play thing, garage thing or something for the boys to play with outside. It was $3.29. So she said she was going to put that outside so they can play with their monster trucks on it. But anyway, y'all, thank y'all for coming thrifting with us today. Our first thrifting trip of 2024 was definitely a success. We hope y'all have a wonderful evening. We love y'all. We'll see you next week with a brand new video.